Revelation chapter 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, O that which thou hast, that no man take away thy crown, right hand during the time of holding on, okay, to this truth as this world is getting ready to come down hard, you know, upon those who are the household of the faith, you know, who are not with this uh, spiritual tower of Babel, we know Satan is going to come down with great wrath upon all of the inhabitants of the earth, okay, but for the elect, you know, within the Heavenly Father's script, we were written to overcome and receive that victory and be found perfect at his second coming, as it's written in Revelation, the third chapter, and when you go up to the fifth verse, it talks about how he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, meaning found perfect, you know, as we enter into that new covenant, you know, that elect remnant are going to be likened unto that bride that ultimately is going to be pure. Okay? So somehow, some way, the Heavenly Father is going to deliver His chosen out of this great hell and this great temptation that's coming to the earth. Okay? So He that overcome it, it says, right? He that overcome it, the same should be clothed in white raiment. And we read in First John, it talks about how the elect have already overcome. It was already written. We we're already predestined to be justified and to be found perfect. However, in this flesh, we have to go through it in order for it to be fulfilled. In order for the word to be fulfilled, there's a very, very straight and narrow path the elect have to go through ultimately for that miracle of salvation to be worked. Okay, so to him that overcome it, the saints be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And understanding that we have a chance to be of that number that's justified, we're living in a time where we have to keep that word of patience. You see? Where we have to hold on to this word when it's getting ready to ultimately bring us a lot of earthly sorrow to stand up for what we believe. As everybody who submits and bows to this image, we're going to be the last one standing and ultimately justified. Though so because thou hast kept the word of my patience, you suffered, you kept your integrity, you held on to your crown, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And it's going to pull at everyone's flesh. Now, the thing about the elect is that it says they love not their lives into the death. Whereas everybody else in the world, all right, is going to be seeking to save their life. The elect understand that, you know, there's a possibility they have to lose their life. And they're going to react to any situation that they're in according to that faith. And the fact that they're not bound to idols, they weren't created to do that. So that's how we are going to overcome death. The fact that we don't fear death, that's one of the many things that is going to aid us, understanding that the, the spirit is eternal, and that when Yahweh shall returns, if we're at that number, we'll be raised up first. But we move and operate on a whole different frequency to where what the devil is going to come with, as far as his rules on the flesh and you know, threats, it's not going to move the elect. And don't worry, with great patience is going to come great faith. The Lord is going to sustain you as you pass these tests and as you keep your integrity. He's going to put the spirit on you to move and operate on a high level of spiritual functioning playing field. All right? So behold, I come quickly. Hold that which thou hast. Let no man take that crown. You have to ultimately hold on to that crown, man. Hold tight like you never held before as you go through this fire on our way to perfection to get back to our state. Hold on to your crown, man. Don't let no man take it. Don't let being offended take it. All right? Don't let fear take it. All right? Worry, low-level thinking, 
faithless thoughts because you'll move and operate in a way where you'll let the crown go. So we're in the time where we got to hold tight to that crown. Let's get the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and 10. It says, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence. We're in the time of giving diligence, man, to make your calling elections. shall never fail one of those things as you read up is giving you the characteristics okay and a recipe for success all right by building yourself all right ultimately in the spirit and power behind by shimon shot the spirit the virtue the mercy all right the diligence virtue knowledge temperance patience brotherly love charity and then it says, for if these things be in you, in verse 8, and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh HaMashiach. See, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his own sin. So ultimately, when you're not building yourself up in the spirit, you technically you're letting go of your crown. You fumble, okay? And a lot of us are in great position through the Holy Spirit, and we have to hold on. We don't want to get to the one yard line and fumble the crown. We're in the times where ultimately we hold on to the crown and getting through the finish line is the only thought overcoming death, making your calling and election sure because the elect are already predestined. But within the word being fulfilled, we have to come. All right, and put on the elect, as the scriptures say, and putting on the elect comes with a very difficult position within this movie where we have to go through that fire. <laughs> and, you know, ultimately, like, the three holy children, you know, walking into a furnace of fire, but praising the Lord and miracles being worked. Those are the times we're coming into, all right? But in order for the Lord to show you all of these great things that he has promised, we have to do our part and make our calling and election sure so that we can be found perfect at his second coming and be glorified and basically clothed in white. <laughs>